Hi there, I'm Annie, and this is my review of the Star Wars Dark Lord 16GB flash drive bundle, including two presentation tins. Inside we have the Dark Lords themselves. Darth Vader. And Darth Maul. Now, Lord Vader, we go ahead and we take off his head. I know you've always wanted to decapitate him, so here's your chance. You pull it off, and inside we do have the USB drive. It's nice and secure. The rubber fits together securely, so we're not worried about it coming apart in transit. Um, if for some reason his feet did fall off when you had him on your keychain, though, you're not going to lose your data because the USB drive part is attached to the top. Here along the side, you see we have a little bit of seam in manufacturing. If I can get my camera to focus. Here we go. Um, so cosmetically a little detracting, but nothing bad there. Otherwise, it's really great quality um, rubber, well cast, really awesome to carry around whether you're using it just to look cool or you're actually using it to carry data. Here again we have Darth Maul. Very attractive there. We can decapitate him as well. We have the USB drive in there. Note that you're not going to be able to use this side by side with another USB device if your ports are directly next to each other. Um, just because this is a little bit wider than your standard um, slim USB drive. But since most computers do have multiple USB ports all over, that shouldn't be an issue. Um, during my benchmark test that I did, comparing these to my GoTo Kingston 2.0 flash drive, I was able to get about 2.7 megabytes a second out of them in my copy tests. Compared to my Kingston drive, I got about 3.1 megabytes a second. So I wouldn't consider these high-speed drives. Definitely don't think that they're going to perform at USB 3.0 standards. Um, but they're pretty comparable to the Kingston 2.0 drive, just a little slower. Um, when I did do the tests, I was using 202 megabytes worth of test files. Um, the Kingston drive copied them in 1 minute and 6 seconds. These drives were able to copy them on an average of 1 minute and 13 seconds. And I did run 3 or 4 tests for each just to make sure that I had consistent results. All in all, I'm really happy with these drives. They definitely get the geek factor out there. They're cute, they're portable, easy to use, and definitely nobody else I know has any one of these. So